All right, happy Wednesday, everybody. I know it's late for you guys. I know a lot of you guys probably watching all the different television shows out there right now. But we're going to get started in a bit. We're just waiting for you guys to come back on here. And we'll get everything together. Here you go, Shay, I see you. Send me the friend request, Shay, and I'll get you right on here. Hey, T. Perfect. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> okay, let's restart it again. So, let, special guest, introduce yourself to everybody that's on here. Okay, so once again, guys, my name is Shea Stadiums. I am an artist and a songwriter. Um, I'm also a minister. Um, I also uh, am a, I walk in a prophetic. I also uh, am an evangelist. Um, I just do a lot of bit of a, a little bit of everything. Uh, especially when it comes to the Lord. Uh, I've written, uh, co-written Dance Like There's No Tomorrow for Paul Abdul. I have co-written a song called Missing Peace for Joe. I've seen background for Tyrese. I've seen backup for Raheem Devon. I work with the voice winner, Jermaine Paul, um, Carolyn Ramsey, Joe Kia, so many different people. Um, and I just, uh, you know, I just do, I'm an all-around guy. I do a lot of things, especially when it comes to the Lord. Like, that's my heart, my passion, my everything. So that's what's always my main focus, you know? Okay. Now, I know it's been about two years since we've done this interview before, done a yes. our first interview. Cause yes. Part of you guys, so that way you guys know this is a sequel. So if you've seen the first one, wait till you get off this. No, well. Those who are, who are watching right now on the live, and I know some people are going to be watching this on YouTube, see the first video, then you come to see this one. But right now, for those who are watching it on IG Live right now, you guys will know what's going on. Now, I know we had talked about COVID and everything the last time we were on here live. So how are things been going for you since things are starting to open back up and, you know, starting to slowly get back, but not quite? So how is that um, for you personally, mentally, and spiritually? Well, to God be the glory, I honestly was not affected by um, COVID-19. I actually lost two of my aunts to COVID um, in the past year, which was kind of, you know, devastating, kind of hard to deal with. Um, my cousin's mom and then my cousin's mom's sister, they both passed away. And then I lost my other aunt as well. Within the past year, I lost three amazing aunts. Um, my mom's sister, she passed away as well last July, two days after her seventh birthday. So that was that. That's been very, you know, hard to deal with and, and and just very sad. But you know, God has been good through it all throughout the whole pandemic, throughout the whole, uh, the, you know, since COVID nineteen started. God has been good. Praise the Lord. I have not, uh, you know, contracted uh, COVID nineteen. Um, I did get my shots or whatever. I was against them at first, but I did get the shots. Um, and I need to get the booster now. Um, but I had not, uh, you know, caught it even though I was in the, you know, it, I was one time in a house and everybody had it. I was the only one who didn't have it. Um, so it's just been uh, a blessing. It's, it's, I know it's been hard for a lot of people. So, you know, I try to, I have, you know, the ones at times during the pandemic, I try to keep those people in prayer. Um, and just believe God will heal and deliver and just cover people's hearts and minds and spirits and souls and just keep them doing this such a hard time um, in this world. So I just, you know, it's pretty, it hasn't really changed anything for me. It's just, you know, kind of just functioning in this world, wearing masks and doing things. That's the only thing that changed to me for it's, was wearing a mask. But everything else, I still felt the same. I still felt the spirit of Jesus Christ. I still felt spiritually grounded. I still felt um, loved and cared about and taken care of. So, yeah. Okay. Now, since you say you were staying home, I know you was being creative, you know, finding your, you know, like doing your music and everything. Yeah. What, was there like a creative, like say creativity that came out that you were really surprised about and you were listening, like maybe like, you know, like how you do the playbacks? Mm. Recorded and what you're about to release, where you saying to yourself, "Wow, this is me." Did you have like that aha moment? 
I did not have that moment until this year. Um, this year has been an amazing year. It's been a lot of, honestly, it's been a lot of ups and downs, but I mean, it's been a lot of incredible things that have, have happened for me. A lot of major and big doors have opened for me in my career in this season, in this time. Um, but the one, the beginning of the pandemic, I didn't really have like a big creative or a big, you know, let me write a song, let me go and create. Um, but I was in the studio uh, and I was recording the one of the pandemic, recording songs that, um, you know, which is the next single that you hear, that you guys will hear from me. Uh, I recorded it during the pandemic. It's a really amazing, it's a really an amazing, anointed song. It's very powerful. Um, it's part of my testimony. It's a true story. Um, and it means a lot to me. So I can't, I, 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 I can't wait for you guys to get a finished version and in the in in correct version of it because there's another version that's out, but it's not the version that I'm going to be uh, promoting. So I can't wait for you guys to hear the song. Since we know you've been working on your project for a while, yes. Do you have a title and like a release date yet, or is I, that something still being determined right now at the moment? I don't have a release date for it. You know, um, you know, you have to plan these things and you have to organize these things and you have to kind of, uh, you know, there has to be a plan. It just can't throw it out there because you don't want it to fall on deaf ears. You know, mm -hmm. so um, the EP, the name of it is called "Let There Be Light." Um, the first thing that I released off of it was, of course, you know, my video and song, uh, Highest Place of Love. Mm -hmm. And that song has been a blessing to me. Like, I mean, it has opened so many doors for me and, and it has gone so, God has taken the song so far. Um, and, you know, I, that was the first single release off of it. That was just like a teaser, like a, uh, a buzz record, you know? So I, um, I put that out and um, that was, was very successful on the internet. It got, probably over 4,000, you know, close to 5,000 views um, on Facebook. And then, you know, it did really well. You know, it did, it's still picking up on, on YouTube. Um, and um, it's just, it's, it's, the song is a blessing. The testimony about that song is a blessing. Um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful record. And the video is amazing. Shout out to me who directed the video in Shaconia. Um, a Jenko who's the leading lady in the video, and also my stylist Diogenes. Um, he, you know, we, it came, we came together, we put it together, we did it, you know, pretty quickly. It was a blessing, and it's out there now. So if you guys are looking for music for me, you can look up Shea Stadium's Highest Place of Love that is on all streaming platforms. You can purchase it or you can stream it. Um, and I hope that it blesses your heart um, and, and, and that, you know, you get the message that I intended behind it and um, that somebody will be brought to the same knowledge of Jesus Christ through that song. That's all I care about. And you'll, and you'll get that even more from watching the video than hearing the song. But because the song sounds like an R&B song, it does not sound like a gospel song. But um, it's just a beautiful record that has blessed my life. So I'm thankful for that. Okay. Any collaborations with other people that you have that's upcoming or maybe you're going to be on somebody's upcoming project? that you uh, want to talk about a tune a bit or maybe want to discuss? There are two major gospel artists who I know personally, we're very close and we talk a lot. We talk almost every day, one of them. Um, and, I'm, and I really want to work with her, um, but in the right time and in the right season, you know, things have, are doing really great for her and her career. And, you know, we kind of spoke about it. Um, but my goal is to work with um, Charlie Ramsey um, and Jokia. Those are both my sisters in Christ. And um, I hope to work with both of them um, very soon. You know, when God opens the door for that, um, that will be a blessing because they have been such a blessing to me. And, you know, we speak very, very often. And I'm, I, you know, I'm just an encourager and I am a, 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 a push people. You know, I'm here to push people into their destiny and into their calling and into, you know, who they're chosen to be. So I speak to them a lot about, we speak a lot about Jesus, we speak a lot about God. Um, and, you know, I've just been really blessed, you know, uh, Joe Kia gave me some really powerful advice uh, a few days ago. Um, and I just, you know, want to follow that because a lot of people know me, the music, they know my music, but they don't know everything I've been through and what it took, took 
to get to this point, you know, and everything I've been through. So I want to start telling people pieces of my testimony, you know, piece by piece, um, because it's such a long testimony. I mean, it's been literally over 20 years since I really started to go through a lot of different uh, things, you know, a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, a lot of struggle, and a lot of ups and downs. Um, and I want to inspire somebody because uh, I know that the Lord has given me a testimony to change lives, and I'm here to change lives and um, and to bring people to the saving hours of Jesus Christ. And so that's what I'm going to do, you know? Okay. So um, what made you, what brought the passion of music into your life? Like, were you like a little kid, like growing up in church? Did, like, can you elaborate on that? I was a little kid. I, I always sang as far as I can remember or almost as far as I can remember, like five years old. And, you know, but I was always kind of like in the back burner. I wasn't the person who was in the forefront, always singing in front of people and trying to show people that I could sing and all that, all that stuff like that. I was in the back burner. So I would step up one time I was in the fourth grade and that audition for a play. And so I stepped up and I was like, well, I want to audition. And I sang. And I was like, well, do you want Shay to sing it or do you want a guy named Morris to sing it? I don't know where he is in the world. I wish I could find him because he, he was such a great guy because he, he ended up singing. They, they chose Morris to sing the song. But in the concert, um, he actually gave me a mic to sing. It was such a blessing. I was young at that time. I was only nine or ten years old, nine years old. Um, and for him to do that at such a young age and to understand that I, I pray that he's okay and I pray that he is still pursuing music because he had a beautiful voice. Um, and I would like to get back in touch with him just to even thank him for that moment, even though that was, you know, years and years and years ago, because I was only in the fourth grade. But um, I started to really pursue it at the age of 19 years old. I moved. I'm originally from New York, um, born here in Maryland, but originally written, raised in New York, and um, then came back to Maryland. And then I left Maryland when I was 19 years old, and that's when I started to pursue my music career. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was when uh, I met a guy named Little Eddie and Andre and all these great people like that. And I was in a group, and the group didn't work out, but I met Little Eddie. We became really close friends, and we started writing songs together and doing all these different music things together. We were in a group, and we, you know, um, you know, we were singing at the live, uh, the, the open mics in New York, which are very popular. Like you can get signed from singing at an open mic in New York, you know. Mm -hmm. So we wrote, we, we started writing songs and stuff like that. And um, the first song that we wrote together that got placed was a, a song on Joe called uh, Missing Peace. And it's called Can't You See on YouTube. So if you look up the song, just look up the song Joe, Can't You See, they misnamed it. But um, that's the first song that we placed together. He had already done a lot of great things, even though he was younger than me. But together, um, and, you know, collectively, we um, did those two songs, to, that song together. And then two years later after that was when we uh, placed a song on Paul Abdul, uh, which is called Dance Like There's No Tomorrow. It charted all over the world globally. Um, and it went to number two here on the dance charts and the top ten. Uh, it was a top ten hit. So just really thankful for that. Thankful for the exposure that it, it got me. Thankful for the doors that it's open for me. Um, it was a, just a really special blessing. Um, because she has the same birthday as my mother. So and my mother passed away this year, almost 25 years ago. So, you know, if it had been placed on Britney Spears or, uh, you know, Demi Lovato or Brandy or Monica, who knows, but, um, or Janet Jackson, but it went to Paul Abdul and the fact that she had the same birthday as my mom um, was a blessing to me. And the fact that, um, that, she recorded that it went to her was a blessing to me. We actually spoke online, um, and that song went everywhere. It was on So You Think You Can Dance. It was on Dance, mm -hmm. Dancing with the Stars. It was, you know, uh, on the Billboard charts. It was all over the world. So, and I still basically hear it now almost to this day uh, on, like, satellite radio. I'll be in the store, and I'll be like, oh, oh, shoot, my, you know, I wrote this. You know what I mean? Or uh, somebody will send me, my cousin sent me a while ago. Uh, she was like, you know, I was in the store and they, they played just song, the song that you wrote. And I was like, that, my cousin wrote this. My cousin wrote this. So to God be the glory for that blessing and for all that he has done. I have such an amazing testimony um, about the things that God has brought me through and, 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 and just an amazing life that he has given me in spite of the hurt, in spite of the pain. 
in spite of the uh the suffering, in spite of the the hardships, God has blessed me tremendously and God has opened doors for me that no man can shut. And God has just given me things to show me that he loves me and that I have his favor over my life. So I'm so thankful for that. Um, and I hope my, my hope is with this with this Instagram live is to, you know, to bring other people to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, you know, um, and for people to get to know Jesus and know that he is real and that um, he's the way, the truth and the life. He's the only name under heaven that which you must be saved. And he is um the name above all names and i'm not telling you because I, i've read the bible the bible says jesus we love jesus because he first loved us and it's a, it's, it's a fact you know i always felt the spirit of god in me and that's the spirit of god around me and you know the fact that jesus you know just um just changed my life and saved me and when i came to the saving knowledge of jesus christ it changed my life totally and completely so i'm thankful for that gotcha Amen on that one. I agree with what <laughs> Hill the underscore master say. Amen. Amen. I don't think there's anything else to say about that statement right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's now, my friend. That's my friend Martin. He we've been through similar things. We actually met in a certain place. But he's an amazing guy as well. He has an amazing testimony. Ooh. Um, and I can't, I can't wait for the world to see all that God has put in him and all he, he has to do for Christ Jesus as well. Um. You know, it's just a long, obviously, it's a great, great relationship. So I love you, Martin. What's up, bro? That's my bro. And Shorty1115, we see you. Good evening. What's up, Alicia? How are you? God bless you. I love you. Now, since she, since we know, like, we we got, we know now that you're, so we know you're a singer, but we also, we know you're a songwriter. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm going to get, now I have to ask this question when I'm yes. a songwriter. And you've already said some people's names already. Who is, yeah. now, who is, the dream collaborations and it doesn't have to be like on the like your own album but just the right for it because you said you work with um paul you you know you placed on paul abdul you said right you used the same background for Raheem devon i know you written a song for shalik who we who's a good yeah. friend of ours yes yeah, somebody that we will be surprised to know that you would like to collaborate and maybe they may be watching this because you know we have a lot of celebrities that watch stuff yes yes i know and actually had to manifest it and put it out there Actually, it's funny because I I got some famous followers from you, Don Robinson from In Vogue and um, like that. Um, so I really, my goal and my dream is to work with Brandy. Um, she is my absolute favorite artist besides SWV. Mm -hmm. And um, she is absolutely amazing to me. Um, I want to work on, a, I want to work on a project with her. I want to do a, a song. I, I have a plan in my head. I'm not going to tell the world, but I want to bring mm -hmm. Number one uh, artist, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brandy's the number one artist I want to work with. I think she's absolutely incredible. Um, I'm glad to see that she's finally getting her flowers now, mm -hmm. and that she's finally starting to be recognized for all that she's done because she was the first to do many things, you know. Um, yeah. and a lot of people overlooked her for so long, but now she's they starting did. to get her flowers. So I'm happy about that, you know. Agree with you. Because look, we got—I got to shout out one person who's—you know how Brandy calls her fans the stars. Yeah, fellow star that I know who's on the comments. It's Rhea. I, I know we never really seen each other physically, but I know we know of each other. We've seen each other on the comments, and is Rhea Sunshine? Rhea, hi Rhea. What's up, baby? I know, Ray, I know who Rhea is because yeah. Rhea she goes hard for Brandy like I do. Yes, so, but she get her props because she works her butt off. And yeah. I know how hard she's been working for, I think, oh, my goodness, like a decade or so, probably like 15, 20 years. I know from what I know, from how I knew her, from, yeah. you know, all the fan, you know, like the fan boards and everything yeah. like that, fan pages. Yeah. So I had the Ray Sunshine. I see you on the comments. We Hi, Ray. We love you, Ray. I love you, Ray. Ray is actually... We met in 2009, and then we started going to church. I invited her to church, and me, her, Shalik, my whole crew, we all went to the same. I invited, I evangelized everybody. We all went to the same church, um, and we, we, you know, me and Ray became very close. Um, and basically, that's like my ride or die. Like we, we have, she's uh, sweetheart. yeah, I, she's sweetheart because she's one of those. She's very loyal, and she's yes. very when she's loyal, she's loyal in a great way. Yeah. He knows that. Yes, we have. So, so I've known us in 2009. So it's been over 10 years now, which is crazy. Like, where has all the time gone? But we, you know, 
we spent so much time together in New York, going to the movies, you know, going here, going there, going out to eat parties. I mean, we've done everything together uh, for many, 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 many years, you know. So uh, she's just my ride or die. That's one of my best friends and one of my big supporters. And actually, my little photo. I gotta, I gotta follow you, Ray, because I see you on here. My latest photo shoot, the pictures that you see, the one that's on your oh, on your board, she was there. She was actually there at the photo shoot. Okay, Ray, I'm going to give you your props because yeah. it's my girl. Yeah. And yeah. I know if she gonna, she's doing that for you, she, it was fantastic because oh, yeah. now, now, now I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to say a little bit on what I can yeah. say. Okay, I yeah. much, but I will give away a tiny bit of little information. Just yeah. a tiny. Now, when you guys see, once this interview is done with, you're going to see what the thumbnail pitch is going to be for Instagram yeah. and YouTube. Yeah. You got blown away. I'm not going to even tell you, Shay, which one I Oh, did. wow. You're I'm gonna excited. See it. You're going to see it's going to be, it's going to be one that you're going to, you're probably going to know which one I'm talking about. We're not going to say it on here. It's yeah, going to yeah. be a surprise. Okay. Okay. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I've been, I don't play now. Like I, I promote all my videos, all my interviews that I do. Um, because, you know, it's about bringing somebody to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's what, that, that's the point of this interview. I'm thankful mm -hmm. to, to God to be able to live out my dream and to do music and to sing for him. You know, it's not about making my name famous. It's about making the name of Jesus famous and bringing people to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Um, and I just, uh, I, I, I just am so blessed, uh, to have, you know, I, I, I go hard now with promoting these interviews because I want people to hear about the name of Jesus. I want them to know that they can be healed, that they can be saved, that they that they are set free, um, and that they can be delivered no matter what the situation is, you know. And, and life is not easy for any of us. Um, but, you know, the Bible says, thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph. So we have the victory in every situation. We triumph in every situation. We win in every situation. Even when it doesn't look like we're winning, we're winning. Um, and the Bible says we're above and not beneath, you know, and the head not to tell, and the lender not to borrow. So we're above the enemy. The enemy is beneath our feet. So when you're going through something or you're going through a trial tribulation and it seems hard, speak the word of God. And even if it doesn't look good or doesn't feel good, continue to speak the word of God and he will deliver you and bring you through. In fact, you know, um, I'm just today. I was, you know, I was having such a hard time, and today I just felt the release. You know, and God was, you know, it was like something. It was a heavy feeling, and I felt the release. And it's really crazy. Like two hours before our interview was when it came, and I was like, "Oh, thank you, God. To, you know, to God be the glory." Because you know, it wasn't easy, but I was still speaking the word of God. I was still staying faithful to God. I was still doing the things of God, and I was still um, just. Uh, keeping my focus on him, you know, so, and I need to focus even more, um, and I, I, I do keep my eyes focused on Jesus a lot, but I have to, I really, really have to get to a point where I'm like laser focus in, you know, so, yeah. And one thing I like about what you do, you know, some people who say they're, they love Jesus, and some people put the fakery out there, and you got people who are being for real, I'm glad that you're being real about it, and yeah. it's not coming across as being phony, but it's coming across as being genuinely for sincere and real. That's why I were, you know, I appreciate you because, you know, we've been friends for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you so much, man. <laughs> no, you crack me up. You crack me up. <laughs> he knows I will call him out on his crap. Yeah, he will. I'll call him out on his crap if I have, feel like it's crap. But yeah, I haven't really done that to him. But he knows. You haven't, you haven't done about. it. Yeah, you haven't done it in a while. But um, I was yeah, thinking about you knows, a few hours. He knows some stuff I used to say to him. They gonna yes. say it out. Bye, we ain't gonna say it, but we yeah. keep those I, was, I was thinking about that a couple of hours ago, and I was laughing. I was like, "This guy's so silly, man! Oh my god!" So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, real talk, now, real talk. Yeah. Oh, we gonna talk about that later off camera. Now, yeah. for everybody, I know we're getting to the music. We got we got to singing. We got to songwriting. Let's go into acting. Okay. Thought about doing any acting roles or have anything upcoming acting roles? It doesn't really have to be like acting like TV or you know, like TV or movies. Maybe like maybe a play. Is there anything that has sparked your interest? I have some things coming up that I cannot talk about. I wish I could. God is such an awesome God, man. Like you know, a lot of things are birthed 
through pain. You know, I don't understand that. You may be going through some suffering and God might be like, bam, and give you this, you know, billion dollar idea, you know? So I have some things that I am working on, working towards, which I can't say um, out loud because I want to work on those things and then get them out, you know, and mm -hmm. to the world to see. And, um, and you know, there is a plan, but uh, I can't talk about those things. But I'm definitely going to be doing some acting. I'm definitely going to be doing some directing um, and, and some, and some, uh, and some, you know, script writing and stuff like that, writing scripts and, I have things that I'm working on that, you know, that in the background. Like people think, you know, I have music. I have music that people haven't even heard. I'm um, that's gonna come out on my EP. Um, it's gonna be amazing. Like I can't wait for you guys to hear the full EP and see the full plan that I have for the EP. I can't give it away or you guys will know. You won't be excited when you see it. So I can't tell you guys. But there is a, a plan for the EP to come out next year. Um and the single the single it's, it's getting ready to come out soon, and it's a great single. It's a, a huge record. Um, it's, it's a great gospel pop record, pop R&B influenced got, uh, pop record, um, and it's really an amazing record. It's an amazing record. It's, it's going to speak to the hearts of so many people, especially those who have suffered with a mental illness or who have went through mental illness. And, and you know, I can you know attest to that because I know my story and what I've been through. And, you know, uh, you know, that's one of my, my primary goals is to help people with mental illness get through. And for it has helped me get to the point where I am is the word of God. Because if you would have known me 10 years ago and seen me, you'd be like, oh, my gosh, what's going on? Um, so, you know, God's brought me a mighty long way. And I can testify of his goodness, of his healing, of his deliverance, of the freedom that I've experienced in God. Um, and just uh, all that he's done in my life. In every way, like you know, you can't tell me that God doesn't love all of His children and, and that He doesn't favor us because He does so many great things for us. I mean, it's it's obvious, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just so thankful to God for that. So yeah, to God be the glory. All but, right, there's travel with the harmony. That's my God. friend. Who you seen hey. on my show, Caleb? That's my boy, Caleb, right there. Hey, Glad Caleb, what's up, Caleb? Thank you for joining us. Cause he he's a, he's a Brandy fan too. Brandy, Brandy, if you're watching us, I don't know if you're on a you different got, page. Cause you got we Kate, love you. Yourself. You got you you got on uh, Shay here. You got Raya. Yeah, I'm just saying we yeah. just putting stuff out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know Raya, yeah, we, know, you know Raya knows the whole Norwood family. You know, I have to get on Rhea when I get off the phone because I've been telling her for years and I'm about to get on her again. <laughs> nice. like, Rhea, I need you to make some things happen because you know. Um, but but you got but you got to see if she because I know she hasn't seen him in a while, but she she was around him a lot. She was around him. Yeah, she knows him. She knows them personally. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. But since we. Since you talked about like the movies and everything that you have coming, you can't really talk about it. But I know we, you said it's coming up. What about and you said creating your own stuff, your like scripted stuff and everything. What is something that you want to accomplish? Like let's say for instance, like the next, I say two to five years. Where do you where do you want to see yourself at right now? Two what to five years. Years? Uh, Two to five years. I still plan on doing music. I still plan on singing. I still plan on traveling and touring and doing those things like that but the 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 goal is within four to five years is to open my own church um you know and pastor at my own church um and uh have these movies at least two out of three of them to come out you know within the next five years to have my music out finally um and to you know promote the music and to be able to travel and you know um, do those things that God has called me to do. Uh, you know, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a. Uh, you know, I have a lot of dreams and a lot, a lot of goals. And I don't dream. My dreams don't are not normal dreams. I dream extremely huge. And I tell people all the time, dream big. If you and they say, you know, if you, if if your dream seems like you can accomplish it by yourself, then it's not big enough. You need God. You know. So my mm -hmm. dreams are extremely big. You know, the things that I, that I'll. I'm not doing anything for myself. 
I don't sing for myself. I don't write songs for myself. The movies are not going to be for myself. Um, the the things that I have planned are not going to be for myself. They're to bring people to the saving of Jesus Christ. The glory is not for me. The fame is not for me. I don't care nothing about fame. I don't care. You know, I'm not looking to walk into a restaurant or a Walmart or Kmart and look for anybody to come running towards me. Even though that comes with the territory of singing when your name is out there. Um, but I... I told, you know, I told God, I said, I don't care about the fame. I just want to bring glory to Jesus' name. I just want to bring glory to your name, oh God. And I just want to sing for your glory. Um, everything that I'm doing and working on is to bring people to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. It's not about my, my glory and my fame. I'm making my name bigger. You know, if you don't, you know, when I leave this earth, if you don't remember my name, as long as you remember what I did for Jesus Christ and that you have come to Jesus Christ through my testimony, through my story, or through my music, or... I did something great on this earth with Jesus Christ. That's all that matters to me. Um, my legacy doesn't even matter. I hope to have children one day, and I hope to be married, and I hope for all those great things. Um, and my children will be my legacy and, 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 and those things like that. But, you know, I don't care about this big legacy of all oh, Shea Stadiums was doing this. You know, no, Jesus Christ was here, um, and he's coming back. Um, and, you know, every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. That's what matters to me. Um, and that's what my heart is, and that's what my soul is, and that is all I care about. So that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you better you better go on, man, and preach. <laughs> <laughs> to God be the glory, man. To God be the glory. I have so many stories and so many testimonies. It's it's really crazy. This year has been such an amazing year um, that I had to buy a book and write down everything that was happening because. Um, it was just so many testimonies after testimony after testimony, you know? And every mm -hmm. time I would look, every time I would uh, like look around, it would be something else to write. You know what I mean? It's also been a year of the trials and tribulations, too. You know, mm -hmm. so. Because you know how that Yeah. No, it's been a year of trials and tribulations, too. It's like, Lord, like, all these great things are happening. Why is this trying to get in my way now? Why is this happening? Like, why is this negative thing happening? Why is, uh, you know, things seem to affect me? It's been an absolutely amazing year, bro. Like, you saw me on the news. You saw me doing the performances and all that stuff like that. But, you know, uh, in the midst of those things, there have been trials and tribulations, you know. But, um, you know, God is great through it all. The Bible says, in all things, give thanks. And I actually remember that last time. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I have not been giving God thanks. I've been praising him and worshiping him. Um, but I have not been saying, God, thank you in this situation. Thank you for getting me through the situation. Thank you for in this situation. I haven't been saying any of that. And I watched T.D. Jakes last night, and he said it. And I had to, you know, refocus my, my, my and be thankful for um, what God has been doing in my life, as the good and the bad. Job said, if I could thank you in the good, I could thank you in the bad. So, you know, I thank God in the good, and I thank him in the bad. And this has been a tremendously successful, crazy year. He has opened door. He God has opened doors for me that I did not expect. There's much more to come that you guys have not seen. Um, that's about to, uh, about to be released. Um, you know, I'm on a, a, a another major platform that's getting ready to be released, and I have things planned out and things that's about to happen. Uh, but uh, you know, there's been there's been trouble in the midst of the 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 the, the triumph. You know, so yeah, so please. But, but thanks again to God, once again, who always causes us to triumph, you know? So, yeah, it's actually things I can literally tell you, um, Kenneth, like in two, literally two hours before you came, before the interview started, it was, I had such a heavy feeling on me. And it's been on me for, it was on days, you know? But it left. Mm -hmm. the, the God be the glory. So I was like, maybe God, I need you to be ready for this interview or whatever. I need you to be fully full clear or whatever it was. But I'm glad that we left. Uh, oh, trust me, it's the same. It's the same for me because it's some family stuff going on. Yeah, like like on my dad's side. So I'm just saying, I understand where you're coming from with that one. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. same. I know some of them may be watching it, but let's just say things are going to be fine. Yeah, and then, fine. we talked, we prayed about stuff, and mm -hmm. we just leave it in the That's it. That is absolutely it. That's correct. Yeah. Now we get into we get into the gridiron of the ending of it, but 
Does anybody have any questions for Shea Stadiums? Because you guys are welcome to ask them any questions. If there's anybody on here who has any questions, um, who is going through a situation right now, who needs to be inspired, um, who does not know Jesus Christ and want to get to know him um, and want to accept him in their heart as their Lord and Savior, um, please put it, put it in the comments. Please, um, even if you see this video later, just tag uh, me or Kenneth. Uh, I can pray with you. And I would love to, Jesus would love, he loves you so much, you know, and he will definitely welcome you to his heart and your life will be changed forever because my life has changed forever um, since I've done it. Um, and, you know, I'm still discovering new stuff about myself all the time, you know, but it's because of God, you know, and it's crazy because when you have talents, God will give you even more talents if you, if you do good with those talents that he's giving you. And like, it's like more stuff that I can do now that I never thought that I would be doing, you know? So, you know, it, with, with the Bible says, with man, things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So we just mm -hmm. give the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And if there's anybody that's watching, um, you know, I just want to pray with you if that's possible. Uh, if you have any questions about my music, if you have any questions about, first and foremost, Jesus Christ, if you want to get to know him better, um, if you have any questions about anything that I'm working on or just anything that me and, and, and Kenneth talk about, uh, I answer them. You can you feel free to answer them now. Now you gave me an idea. Now you gave me an idea because you're bringing up friends who you know, who you uh, work. You know who your friends like, Terrell and Ramsey. And yeah. Key, you know, some of my celebrity friends besides you and a couple other people. You know who I think you would be good with writing a song for? Who? Um, the Baylor Project. What project is that? That's um. Uh, you remember? Okay, it's Gene and Marcus Baylor. Gene was the uh one of the was one of the members of Jeanne. Oh wow, wow. So her husband Marcus, they have that group, the Baylor Project. Wow. I would love to write a song for them. Like let me know, like um hook hook that up. Hook, you know, tell ask them what they're looking for, like what's the theme or what's the you know, you know they the, do they do the music. They do they jazz do who? Music. Oh jazz, jazz music. I've never written jazz. I would have to really tap in and really have to get it right. Uh, jazz is such a music is different than like it, you know. You know? Um, and um, what you say? What you say, Kenneth? But see, they're going to be so. Okay, you are going, you're going in and out. Okay, you're back, you're back. I can't, I hear you, I hear you, yeah. Okay, it was one moment, you guys. So. No, but you, trust me, I think if you, you deal with the R&B part, I think you yeah. can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the, I'll do it with the R&B and they can make it jazzy. Ah. But since nobody has no questions, you want to let everybody know where they can find you on social media and everything? Everybody, you can find me on social media at Shea Stadiums, on Instagram at S-H-A-E Stadiums, S-T-A-D-I-U-M-S underscore. Um, everywhere else is at Shea Stadiums, S-H-A-E S-T-A-D-I-U-M-S. You can find me there. Um, and before I go, I just want to say this prayer for anybody that has not watched and may see this video um, or for anybody that has um, wants to accept Jesus into their, into their heart and they may be touched by this video. Listen, God has done great and mighty things in my life. Um, divine blessings um, brought me out of a place of just total suffering and pain and just so much so much pain, so much suffering. Um, and if we want to reign with Jesus, we have to suffer with Jesus. And when you have great purpose on your life, you know, you're going to go through a lot of things. And you know, I've been through a lot of things, been through a lot, but God has been great through it all. Jesus Christ has saved me. Um, he saved my life. And once I started to come to the saving of Jesus Christ, that's when I started to get healed. That's when I started to get delivered. That's when I was set free. Um, so I just want to say this prayer with, every, with anybody who wants to say it. So, 
Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we love you, we praise you, we thank you. We give you the honor, glory, the praise. Jesus, King of all kings and Lord of all lords, uh, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, we, we thank you. We ask, Jesus, that you would come into our heart. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for delivering us. We accept you to our hearts right now. We thank you that you would be our Savior forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray to us for the evening. Thank you. Amen. 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 Hey, you know you got Ray saying, I'm just waiting on this EP. Oh, that's what you said. Oh, I, oh my gosh. Yo, the crazy thing is, if you look back on my old, not the new Facebook, but on my old Facebook, in 2014, I was like, my EP is coming soon. It's 2022 going to 23 now. But it's, the EP is finished, or, you know, it's in the finish. It's, it's the, the songs are finished recording already, and we're just going into now the mixing and, and mastering of it, you know? Um, but mm -hmm. the, the EP is done now, so it's done. So it's definitely coming out. It's just the fact of getting the rest of the stuff done, you know? And Ray, and Ray I know you in the comments. Keep on getting at him like, ah, I'm going to get at him too. Yes, yeah, stay on me, guys. Pray, 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 pray for me. I tell people, pray for me, please. Like, you know, I, if you're a good person, good, um, God, honest guy, fair man or woman, please pray for me, please. I accept your prayers. And while we say that right there, we're accepting his prayers and praying for him. You guys can um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at k 285 which you see up here. And you'll see it in the comments and everything. Yeah. And you can follow my show, the K2 Spot, at K2 Spot. You know, that's on Twitter. And also, because I know you guys are seeing this on IG, make sure you follow. If you have any questions, so hit your boy up. And if you guys want to see anybody else who you want me to, who wants to be on the show or want me to book, you know, put it out there and maybe hit up their pages and let them bring them over here. Yeah, I got a couple. I got a couple people for you, actually. Um, my friend, she just had a uh, release her book. It was then went went to number one on Amazon. Um, bring, her, and, bring her over here. She can come over here. Bring yeah. her over. Yeah, I'll, tell, I'll definitely tell about it when we get off the phone. But her book went to number one on Amazon, and I thought about her today when I was telling. I thought about that. I believe today yeah, when I uh, when Listen. I saw you. Yeah. The more the merrier, and the more abundant love we accept. Yeah, but and I, I think I, I thank God for you. I thank God for your life. I thank God for this amazing platform that you allow so many people to come on and just to express themselves and give them a chance to, you know, to speak about their life or their testimony or whatever it is that they're working on, mm -hmm. just to get the chance to get their project out. So I thank God for your life. I think. You that eyes have not seen. Nor is and mm -hmm. I heard nor the heart of men imagine what God it has prepared for you. I decree and declare that over your life, your greater is coming. So keep focused, keep doing it, you know, um, keep putting it out there. And hopefully one day we'll see you with your own talk show or your own type of reality show or something. Because you definitely are a character. And you definitely um, are you definitely are fun. You definitely are exciting. Um, and I love you so much. And I thank you for this opportunity. Um, and I thank Jesus Christ for you know, bringing us together and allowing this opportunity to happen um, because nothing is more important than the name of Jesus. There's no name above the name of Jesus. Um, he has no rival. He has no equal to anybody that's watching. So know that you are victorious in your situation and that you are a winner and you will always come out on top. So God bless you guys and love you guys. Thank you. We love you guys. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.